Okay, so we just finished the lighting design considerations. Let's proceed now to the vertical lighting for warehouse. Why I mentioned this one as a separate for the theory of lighting design? Because this is one of the most important part of lighting design in a warehouse project. Okay, so aisle racking requires quality vertical illumination that is evenly distributed to reduce picking errors. So vertical lighting for a warehouse is very important. Vertical lighting is not only for sports lighting or retail shop, but also for the warehouse because of these boxes and shelvings that are in the vertical position. Okay, let me show you some of my project why it is so important to show you the vertical illumination. Okay, so I have two projects here opened right now. So for an, a warehouse that is very small and doesn't have racks, there is no problem about the vertical because yeah, there is nothing to be highlighted. There is no shelvings to look up. And so this one is okay. So no problem with this one. But for this warehouse that has lots of racks, we need to double check. You can do it by checking the false color or you can create a um, calculation surface on every racks. Yeah, we need to check those lights bouncing or touching the racks on the vertical. Like you can see here, See, this, this luminaire is so wide beam and I told the client that this is the wrong fitting because you see those lights are focusing on the top of the shelving. This one is a low bay luminaire and not on the bottom part. You see, there are shelvings on the bottom part and if the operator or some people look up and check the, the data or the details on the bottom part of the shelvings, it is not well lit enough. And you can see the value of this one is only... 75 lux okay you might think 75 lux is enough for you to read but then but if it's if um the products in that shelves are small stuff then uh, you may ask for more light okay so that's why here sometimes the consultant the MLP, MLP consultant will ask you to give a lighting calculation report on the vertical not on the horizontal they are more concerned on the vertical especially if the warehouse has 10 to 12 meters racking system they are into vertical not into horizontal okay so that's why the lighting design for a warehouse is a little challenging in terms of technical technicalities not in artist artistic way or architectural way all right so See this one, focus on this one, it's 300 lux and then 200 lux here. This one is 100 lux. This is okay for an alley, but this one is a no-no. Yeah, it will not be approved. Okay, so that's why the vertical lighting for a warehouse is very important. So this one, I added the, the optics, the beam optics of one fitting. And you can see this is 60 degree beam, uh, beam, ang 60 degree beam angle. And it is applicable for a narrow alley or a narrow corridor racking system. The other one, which is the 90 degrees, yes, it's very good for a wider alley racking system. And if it's 120 degrees, I think the one I showed you is 120 degrees, then it's perfect for the distance of maybe 5 meters or more alley or corridor on the racking system. Later on, we will discuss also the types of the luminaire, if it's for a high bay or a low bay, because sometimes you don't need to put the luminaire on the highest part of the roof. You can, on, on, you, can, you can still suspend it closer to the upper part of the rack, not on the roof. Okay, so look at this picture. I showed you, uh, I want to show you this one because look at, look at the boxes. Some boxes are properly highlighted and you will say, yes, perfect, very good. But some boxes are not highlighted or there is no enough light on the boxes. This is the very poor lighting design for a warehouse. 
and that's why i'm telling you that for a warehouse lighting design go and check your vertical not just horizontal check the false color on the shelvings or the racking system okay this one actually is not acceptable if you're re really a lighting designer you might you can easily say that this is wrong for the uh, for the open area perfect you can see there's enough light for the conveyor and everything but for the vertical it's wrong okay next time or later on we will discuss on how to do that in lighting design calculation and i will show you how to do it properly using the proper spacing of the luminaire and selecting the proper optic okay and also there are some lighting design are uh, lux level requirements for a vertical and i will also tell you that one later on okay so see you again on the next lecture